Hey everyone, I'm Chris from the Downtime Podcast and this is my awesome new Kotic Flare Max. It's my first ever 29er, it's my first short travel trail bike, so let's have a look around. Okay, excuse the dust, but I really couldn't wait and uh, got out for a couple of runs before we started filming this. Sorry about that. Um, this is a 2018 Kotic Flare Max, it's 120 mil travel, 65 degree head angle and it's their new long shot geometry which for me is the perfect balance of long, low and slack. It's got just the right point where you get all the benefits and I don't really feel any detriment from it, to be fair. Um, it's a 29er, you can fit 275 plus in there if you want. Um, it's not something I've had a go with yet, but if you want to do it, it'll take it. Um, yeah, first impressions are it's pretty ridiculous. It's super fast. Um, like the 29er wheels just roll like unbelievably quickly. Um, and I think it's going to take a little bit of getting used to, to be honest, because it, it just picks up speed. Um, 120 mil travel on the rear, running 130 mil travel on the front. Uh, to be honest, it feels like way more than that. Um, it's only on one or two occasions where you get into some bigger, rough stuff, where it actually reminds you that it hasn't got as much travel as you think. Uh, and then it gets pretty tasty, but yeah, all good fun. Thanks to Geordie at Fox, I'm running Fox suspension front and rear. We've got the Fox 34s set to 130 mil travel to match the travel of the bike. Um, they're currently at 70 PSI. I put four tokens in there because I like to have a little bit of uh, progressiveness in the fork, I guess. Just a little bit more than the standard setup. Um, I'm 68 kilos and I'm running, uh, the rebound is seven clicks away from fully closed and the compression at low speed is 10 clicks out from firm. Down the back here, we've got Fox Float DPX2, um, running 160 PSI in there. Rebound 11 from fully closed. And the, the compression, like the low speed compression is five from fully closed. I think we've probably got a little bit more work to do on setup, but feels pretty good. Uh, haven't really had time to tweak it too much yet. So yeah, feeling good. Okay, onto the cockpit setup. We've got 35 mil Bergtech Enduro stem. Um, super light, really nice piece of kit, nicely nicely machined, and I'm running the Bergtech Carbon Ridewide uh, Enduro Bars. I've cut them down from 800 to 760mm. I'm only pretty small um, and don't like to have my bars too wide, um, but yeah, they feel real good at that. Uh, quite stiff, but also quite quiet when you're riding, which is nice. Um, I've got the Hope Tech 3 E4 brakes on there. Again, first time I've used those, been on Shimano brakes for a while, nice to be back on Hope. Uh, super progressive, loads of feel, um, not too snappy, and yeah, so far impressed with those. And I'm running the 180mm rotors there, uh, which seems to be enough for most of the riding that, that I do. And then grips wise, I'm running Death Grips, same as I had on my old bike, but these are the new softer compound. Um, also they're the thin ones, again pretty small hands, so they tend to work best for me. I think they might get pretty dirty but kind of like the colour so it's all good. And then for my other contact point I'm running Bergtech penthouse flats in a pretty snazzy orange colour. Um, first time on the penthouse flats, so far so good. I'm running them with 510 shoes, uh, super grippy, haven't had any issues with losing my foot. Um, and also they're a little bit slimmer than the DMR volts that I had before so yeah feel like I'm le like clipping less roots and, uh, and exposed uh, bits of the trail so yeah happy with those so far we got a SRAM Eagle group set just the basic GX uh, nothing too fancy sort of stuff that gets worn out and gets broken quite a lot and don't want to be forking out loads of money to replace stuff um, so yeah pretty simple on the group set and then one of the nice touches on this Flare Max build um, they come with these little one-up components chain guides and it uh, fits onto the shock pivot so yeah pretty cool Saddle is a WTB Volt, um, pretty comfy so far, I haven't done any really long rides on it, but it's got a nice amount of compliance, not too heavy, uh, so pretty impressed with that. And that's combined with a Fusion Manic dropper post. Can't get the post down quite as far as I'd like, so I might get a post with a bit of a shorter, uh, shorter length so that I can just get that saddle a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, feels pretty good. Really like the X-Fusion um, remote, it's super adjustable, you can basically get it wherever you want. Um, and that makes life real handy. Pretty unusual right now, but not a lot of mud in the UK, plenty of dust. Um, but I have got this short mud hugger guard on, 
they do some real nice stickers so actually be able to match the colors in pretty nice with this build i think that looks pretty good and if it does get wet then at least it keeps the rubbish out of my eyes uh, so yeah happy with that tires wise running maxis on the front i've got a minion dhf uh, it's the dh casing 2.5 first time i've run this tire and i've got to say uh, i'm impressed so far it's nice soft compound but actually rolls pretty well uh, it's fairly heavy i guess especially in 29 but worth it for the the additional protection uh, and then on the back i've got the maxis aggressor so summer at the minute here it's not too wet it's got a bit of grip there but reasonably low profile rolls pretty well uh, that's in the double down casing and it's the 2.3 width Kogel bearings uh, support the YT mob, so if it's good enough for Aaron Gwynn, it's good enough for me. They've sorted me out with some of these snazzy SRAM jockey wheels uh, with ceramic bearings and little gold uh, centers there, which is super nice. And they've also sorted me out this rather snazzy gold bottom bracket. Ceramic bearings, uh, super lightweight, fits really nicely and runs super smooth. So. Yeah, happy with that. Let's see uh, see what the durability is like, but it should be pretty good. Then we've got to talk about these wheels. They're pretty special. So these are from We Are One Composites, based in Kamloops in Canada, run by a guy called Dustin Adams, who's an ex-racer himself. Um, was working in the carbon wheel industry and decided that he could do better. Um, so yeah, he's building these wheels in Kamloops in Canada, which is amazing. The finish is insane, like they're so beautiful. Um, I haven't had a chance to ride them a huge amount yet, so we'll see how they feel on the trail. I've had a few runs today and feel really good to be fair, like stiff where you kind of want it, but not so stiff that they're pinging and bouncing off stuff. A little bit dusty at the minute, but we'll get those cleaned up. Um, fitting them was, was actually a pleasure, which is pretty unusual. The tires went on without tire levers and they're pretty tight tires to be fair. Um, and also they went up first time tubeless with just a trap pump. Didn't even need to remove the valve cores. And that's the first time that's ever happened. Uh, I know they claim that on their website, but I guess I was fairly skeptical, but yeah, fair play. It went up first time. So first impressions, it's ridiculous. It's fast, it's lively, it's fun to ride. 29 wheels just seem to make it faster to be honest. I haven't really noticed any issues. I haven't noticed it harder to turn or any less fun to ride. Um, and that's pretty good because I'm, I'm not a tall guy. It's just a medium frame and it all fits pretty nicely. Doesn't feel compromised at all. Um, got a bit of work to do I think on suspension setup maybe just to get it spot on. But even as I got it kind of middle of the road settings, it, it feels pretty damn good to be fair. Um, yeah, I'm super excited. I can't wait to get more time on it. And uh, yeah, keep watching. Cheers.